So yeah, Blink Response is a tournament that is going to be happening in the Dominican Republic this weekend, starting I think tomorrow. I couldn't find the schedule, nor could I find out where it's streamed. Um, it does look like this is this tournament is going to be taking place on Saturday, um, 3 p.m. AST. I, I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be like 2 p.m. EST or exactly what it is. So I apologize for not being more well informed on the, the time zone differences. But 3 p.m. AST, you know, you can Google it and figure that out. Um, I'm not sure when they're going to start streaming. I'm assuming at least top eight, minimum top four will be streamed. Um, but I couldn't find where that is. But as soon as I find out the information of where it's going to be streamed, it will be put in the reply in the replies of the, the YouTube video. So definitely make sure to check that out if you are interested in watching the tournament this weekend. We're going to get some predictions, see who we can look out for, and see who is uh, planning to make a run at this tournament. So this pool, the two names that really stand out to me are Gurr and Gross Gross, a legend in the NRS community, uh, was in the Justice 2 Pro Comp finale, um, was at like uh, the Summit of Time for Mortal Kombat 11, was really in towards the beginning of MK11, obviously when, you know, the, the pandemic hit and stuff for MK11, that really um, shook some things up, so it made it harder for people outside of, you know, certain countries to participate with, you know. The, their countries um but now it looks like he's back on this mk11 or mk1 grind the gross is definitely a name and then Gur obviously been crushing it um second place at dream hack third place at ect one dream hack atlanta last year one frosty fostings last year um probably the favorite to win this tournament i'm assuming right here is probably going to be uh Gur versus gross i think Gur is going to win that and be out winner's side i think Gur is going to be out loser's side some of these other names um i'm assuming because they're you know they have buys and stuff are probably more local to the the kind of the caribbean islands area um, but I think that this pool is going to have Gur out winner side, Gross out loser side. All right, so number this pool we got okay, so we got Euphoring, we got Akarazado, we got Edwin Marina. So Akarazado actually made top eight of Blink Respond last year. Uh, actually got him on the 2023 Mortal Kombat One Top 100 ranking. Euphoring, someone who. You know, people may not like his play style or whatever. Uh, 48 signups, um, Alex. So not a hugely stacked tournament, but a decent amount. Um, DLC7, okay, that's someone who, that's a name that sticks out. I haven't really seen him play this game. I know he was a Kano back in Mortal Kombat 11. Um, Edwin Marina, someone you probably run into in Mortal uh, Kombat League if you play a lot of Combat League. Um, there's a Euphoric, uh, recently got third at DreamHack Atlanta, uh, ninth at Combo Breaker. This guy's always coming out and just doing well at these tournaments. CEO 2022 champion for Mortal Kombat 11. Um, he, he's a good player and definitely someone who, uh, I, I mean, the one seed. And I could, I'll could i probably see making out winner side here. And then I think Alcarazado will be loser side. Uh, Alcarazado plays a bunch of different characters. You know, Ashra, Reptile. I'm not exactly sure who he's going to go. Uh, but I think Euphoric winner side, Alcarazado loser side. Uh, for sure, for sure. And then this side we got, um, we got Raz Al Ghul, we got Struggling Black, we got King Teza, we got Young Jaquelo. So Jaquelo was someone who was kind of um, dominating the Liga Latina Norte region. He actually won all three weeks of the uh, the, the qualifying events. And then he lost in Grand Finals to Brosiv in the finale to make Final Combat. So Brosiv actually qualified through Liga Latina Norte. But Chiquelo was kind of dominating. And after the raid of nerves, I mean, is you know, as time goes on in the games, people don't play it as much. You know, Chiquelo was dominating, or not dominating, but doing super well in these online tournaments and won three of those, uh, won all three of the Liga Latina Norte. He is a very good player, so someone who... A bit of a wild card. Someone, I think, who could come in here and potentially win the whole thing. But someone who could also potentially maybe maybe even miss top eight. I just don't know how much he's playing and, you know, if he's still on Raiden. Raiden, obviously, very, very top tier towards the beginning of the game. Now, kind of towards the middle or lower end of the tier list. And somebody's on a King Tiza. Tiza, honestly, I think probably will be here against Jaquelo. Tiza, a veteran Mortal Kombat player. Uh, I think he got fifth at Defend the North. Um, willing to play top tier. He's willing to play anyone, plays a bunch of characters, but I think he's going to come out of with the Homelander. I don't think, we're not getting any nerfs, nerfs by Saturday. So uh, I think that the Homelander, uh, Nash is someone who's, who's going to be good, but I think we're going to have Jaquelo versus Tiza here, and then Tiza loser side, top eight, Jaquelo winner side. Uh, that is my prediction.
Okay, pool number three, we got Brosiv, the Liga Latina Norte uh, qualifier. Uh, Jason, this name sounds super familiar. Uh, Infinity, um, definitely a, a big name in the community, was in Tati of Blink Respond last year. Um, so definitely should be uh, cool to see them compete. I haven't seen them compete in a little while. So I think Brosiv and Infinity here with Infinity making out loser side, Brosiv winner side. Um, Brosiv, I say went to final combat took a set off zeus um just really good he got second at first attack which happened a couple or about a month ago losing to yadriel of punk um and yadriel were they not at this tournament but is what it is but yeah that's that's my predictions for there but some good players pinky the name also sounds familiar okay so let's go to top eight and based off my prediction so i i have gervis or both of you before i uh, gross. Um, I, th I have Tiza here, and then I have Infinity there. So th that's my only difference between the predictions. And yep, okay. So we got uh, Tiza here, Infinity there, but everything else is the same. So Gervis, Brosev. It's actually going to be a good set. I've seen Brosev. Brosev does play Quan. He also plays Shang. I can see if you brought out the Quan, I can. I can see it. I definitely 100% can see Brosev taking it. A really good competitor. Showing he can win in these really, really intense clutch moments. But Gur is just so solid. You never really see Gur fold. Um, I think Gur is going to take it. But that's going to be a very, very good set when you want to watch out for it. Euphoria versus Jaquelo. I think Jaquelo is going to take that. I, I said, like I said, Jaquelo is a bit of a wild card. I can see Jaquelo winning this whole thing. I can see him potentially not even making top eight. Just because I'm just not sure... Where he's kind of been in his competitive journey, he's still on the raid and whatever. But I'm gonna take Jaquela over Euphoring. Then we got Gross versus Infinity. I think Gross is going to take that. So we have Gross versus Euphoring, and then we have Akarazado versus Tiza. I might take Tiza there. So we have Tiza versus Brosive. So then we would have Jaquela versus Gross. Um, not Jaquela. Not Jaquela. We have Euphoring versus Gross. I think Gross is gonna take that. Over Euphoring, so that will put Euphoring out at fifth place. This is Blink Respond happening this Saturday. Um, and I'm not sure if Top 8 goes into Sunday or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's a tournament happening in Dominican Republic. Caribbean Islands, if you will. So then we would have uh, Brosiv versus Tiza. I think Brosiv takes that. So we would have Gross versus Brosiv in this loser semifinals. And Gur versus Young Jaquelo. I think Gur takes that. Jaquelo goes down here. And then we would have uh, Gross versus Brosiv. I think Brosiv takes that over Gross. Um, but, you know, Gross, top tier competitor, Gross could win this whole thing. But I think Brosiv has been really grinding, you know, with final combat finalist. Um, showing he can win in this big moment. So Brosiv versus Jaquelo. Um, I think Jaqu I think Brosev gets it, and we get Gur versus Brosev in Grand Finals, and then I think Gur will take it over Brosev and will be the Blink Swan champion in straight sets, gonna win it through Winter Side. Um, but that is going to do it, guys. That it is it for the predictions for this. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you guys think is gonna win? Leave that in the comments below. Who win this weekend? Who you think maybe is gonna go on a run? Maybe someone that I didn't have in top eight. Do you think they may not gonna win, but they can make top eight? Definitely make sure to let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys at the next.